Loreto Abbey. This is beautiful, it's a monument, uh, all the decoration, the paintings, uh, the roof paintings. They were producing, this is Benedictine consecration, and they were producing a liquor from herbs, very green because uh, this is uh, grass herbs that are harvested, uh, picked up in the, this area and then distillated. So we tasted it, it was very strong, very minty, fresh, 40 something the alcohol, so quite strong. I was not expecting it. It was nice also because in this region, so we tasted this liquor, but I have in mind all the Amaro. So it was nice to connect wine also with the other beverage produced in this area. Irpinia, so it's in Campania, South Italy. If you see Naples, you drive uh, east. So you're going towards to the Apennine chain. The landscapes change totally. You leave the shore and you arrive to a mountain. It's incredible because we don't have this uh, in mind when we go to South of Italy. And, uh, and all the chain of mountain behind us is just uh, beautiful. have done visits on site, so we've visited the winery and then we've done also theory and uh, masterclass vertical tastings to go much deeper into the day three uh, grape varietals from these local grapes, which are Fiano, Greco di Tufo and Aliadico. And that was very, very interesting to taste side by side the grapes. It helps a lot to understand the grapes and to memorize also the differences. And then inside the grape, we had the three wines side by side, so we could see how they become while becoming older. And the big bonus, it was the masterclass held by Professor Shensa. He's always sharing so much about the information, the geology, the climate, the soil, the history also. We had a, a sommelier who was explaining everything in English and, and also describing so well the wine, so the theory and the practice. Fiano is much more delicate. It has uh, floral flavors, stone fruits, and um, straw. Greco has um, a nose. We have honey, white flowers, and then in mouth, still something very matured. And this tension, this fresh acidity, that really keep the wines very lively. Alianico, it's a real a great discovery for me. Having a red grape with such an acidity and these potential tannins, uh, it's really a, a fantastic grape. I really like it and I think it's nice to taste Alianico from different areas in Campania to continue uh, knowing more about this grape. Mm -hmm.